Oh god, we're recording another one. Mistakes have been made. I have to burp. Burp. I can't, I feel like I'm gonna vom. <laughs> oh, please don't. <laughs> I'll cry. I will really cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, so we're we're back to reading Monster High Smut Shots. We're, we're over, recording? over halfway through. Yes, it's recording. Look, see? Oh, that's me. We are over halfway through. Uh, chapter 5. Operetta and Johnny Spirit. What the fuck does he even look like? You're gonna. He looks good. <laughs> Hold on. You, wait. Are there notes at the bottom? Should we read the notes at the bottom first? No. No. Uh, tell them the situation that we're in this time. What do you mean? Oh. Okay. 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 So in this one, it says specifically, these two characters are married and having kids. It says having kids, but I skimmed through it a little bit earlier, and they have three actual born children. Damn, he good looking. What I the know, fuck? Johnny Spirit is low-key good. Who? Oh, I'm thinking about- all of a sudden I'm thinking about Billy Joe Cobra. You ever see Billy Joe Cobra? No. It's from the show, uh... It's from the show Dude, That's My Ghost. I, uh, I used to have a friend. Hold on, I'm showing you a picture of Billy Joe Cobra. If you've never seen him, just look at me. Oh, oh, I've seen that. <clears throat> oh, we have seen that! Yeah, I had a friend who was really into it, except they were like, let's have a ghost fuck the real boy, and I was like, no, what? It, what? Um, Ow. invisibility. <laughs> Shut your fat fucking mouth. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna try and do my best Jersey accent if it comes out as a Wisconsin accent. Uh, that's how it is, I guess. <laughs> I guess I'm starting. Ugh, there's nothing on. You gotta read now. <laughs> Uh, said a certain blue-haired greaser with his hair slicked back. Apparently, he was facing the TV head-on from his bed. So far, nothing on TV caught his interest. Whether it was a reality t whether it was the reality TV show channel, the country music channel, <laughs> the automobile channel, or the movie channel, where the most interesting movie came movies came on late at night. The greaser known as Johnny Spirit, because turned off, <laughs> frustrated that there was nothing going on, he shut the TV off. This is just great, Johnny groaned. Not even one damn thing is on. There's even less porn movies on and they all suck. His words ended up attracting his wife, Operetta. <laughs> After she put her book down, she turned to him while placing her hand on his knees. Knees. Yeah, knees. What? <laughs> I can always entertain you. <laughs> Operetta giggled at him. You sound like Blanche from the Golden Girls. Do you want me to die? <laughs> <laughs> I would, but I'm afraid that our kids are going to barge in anytime soon and interrupt us. Johnny shrugged. Hard to believe that after Monster High, the two had settled in together with only three kids in their mind. Seven-year-old Johnny Jr., six-year-old Sheila, and their 12-month baby, baby girl, Ophelia. Yeah, both Operetta and Johnny had one wild love life, but after the birth of their child, they hardly had time for each other, let alone get some quality time. They only have one child, but name three. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's a three-headed child. <laughs> the heads sprout at random intervals every time they have sex. <laughs> <laughs> but Operetta was willing to change all that. Seeing a depressed Johnny Spirit beside by her bedside, she decided to play the innocent girl character. But I'm right here. Operetta batted her eyelashes. Don't you want me? Suddenly, all of Operetta's sweet talk was making Johnny look a bit stiff in the pants. It grew so big that his pants was willing to break out of him soon, yet the greaser still had his doubts. That depends, Johnny shrugged. Are you sure that the kids are actually in bed? I can't imagine Johnny Jr. staying up wrecking someone with his toy motorcycle that I bought for him. <clears throat> but they're fast asleep. Operetta <laughs> locked the doors, smirking at her husband. And we're wide awake. And I guess you don't have to have me tonight. Operetta strutted off, smirking at him. Where's she gonna go? She locked the door! The bathroom? <laughs> Looking at her strut made Johnny's bulge tighten. He could feel his heart pumping back and forth, seeing those shapely gams walk side to side in a breathtaking motion. 
I would, but what about the noise? He raised an eyebrow. They're all in bed. I sang him lullabies and they're snoring. Operetta smirk, teasing Johnny by pulling her shirt off. Johnny somehow got a glimpse of her lacy red bra, which held up those titillating 37 double Ds. Is she a BBW? What the hell? This increased Johnny's heart rate a bit as a faster... As faster than a Corvette scare ray going 200 <laughs> miles per hour, suddenly Johnny's hands had gotten the urge to grab those babies of hers, but yet he still managed to resist. Wait, if she's only a year, does she still have, like, titty milk and shit? 12 months? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> you can have titty milk till, like, they're two. Are you sure? Johnny raised his eyebrow again. Because I could go check. Suddenly, Johnny's voice was caught off by Operetta's finger, indicating him nicely to shut up. It's okay. I'll be quiet. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? It's so like Bobby from <laughs> King of the Hill. <laughs> go. No! <laughs> you can make me go quiet. <laughs> she giggled. <laughs> I'll hold my breath, okay? <laughs> Operetta laughed as she ran away from him, wanting him to come after her. Johnny tried his best to contain his urges. He was trying to resist the best that he can, but with her, all her sexy talk that went along with that alluring accent, Johnny knew that he couldn't take it anymore. He just had to have her one way or another. Without any worry, Johnny smirked. Oh, believe me, Dwarface, you won't have your breath for much longer. He smiled as he followed Operetta. Oh, shut up. <laughs> she left. Why are you so weird? <laughs> I'm not weird. Johnny smirked again before whispering in her ear. I'm a freak, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we should send we should send this one to Quinn. No! <laughs> Just right after we're done. Uh so Quinn's been saying we should do better with our voices. She really didn't tell us in the comments, so we're doing good. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it rotated. And then, all of a sudden, Johnny decided to tease her, her himself with a kiss on the earlobe. Uh, kiss to the earlobe. This sent out a little shudder. Yet a little moan of pleasure coming from her, the operatic country girl herself. Operetta gasped, laughing. Ah, <laughs> I, I love you so much. She kissed him hard. You're making me crazy. If you're a freak, then what am I? With a smirk, Johnny whispered into her one more time, this time with with full of seduction. That should be easy to say, he smirked. You're my hot, sexy bitch. <laughs> with, <laughs> with that, Johnny kissed back with his, <laughs> with his tongue sliding deeper inside her mouth like a slippery eel. Ew. Operetta felt his tongue go through her like... <laughs> like gangbusters. It was so hot. <laughs> it was so like hot, a hot like knife. A, like a hot knife going through a tasty spread of margarine. <laughs> See you still. Oh! Operetta smiled. <laughs> Operetta smiled up at him, hugging him tightly as they kissed. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Wait, I just went slightly British. What's that? That's amazing. <laughs> she burst into laughter again. <laughs> this is so awkward. I love it. She pressed her head into the pillow. Johnny, <laughs> I kind of want you to fit me. That can be arranged, he smirked. But what do you want me to do with the, the fiddle? I seriously think he like legitimately plays the fiddle. No, he does! He oh, does no. play the fiddle because she plays the piano! <laughs> fucking mouth. He does play a fiddle! Read. <laughs> oh, I over Oh, all over me. Where, where? Everywhere. Fiddle every string I have. <laughs> I'm a red laid on her stomach. You really sound like Blanche from the Golden Girls. <laughs> wanting to be. Wanting to be loved. You think there's a Golden Girls fanfiction? I don't want to think about Everywhere. it. Is that this Golden Girls, right? Or is that Gilmore Thank Girls? Thank you for being a friend. Oh, you're right. I was thinking about Gilmore. Uh, with another smirk on his face, Johnny took his wife beater off, displaying his glowing navy blue muscles to her lover. 
he, she blushed in excitement as she felt his awesome 12-pack abs across her perfectly manicured hands. Johnny even felt a little moan going on inside him being aroused. Of course, it was no surprise that he was already aroused by her touch. Suddenly, Operetta's hands, hand was focused right around his tight bulge. Seeing this, she blushed deeply. Johnny, <laughs> what are you hiding there? <laughs> she kissed him. <laughs> Go right ahead and find out. She, that he was smirked Wisconsin. again. Hey, I told you, it's eventually gonna shift its way. <laughs> Wanting to find out herself, Operetta got a hold of the button that held up Johnny's pants and opened it. And then she started with a zipper. She started with the zipper, in which it came rolling down to his sweet spot. What are you looking at? Trying to figure out how to do the accent again, so shut your mouth. She then stripped Johnny of his pants and took them off, as she did. As she did. (laughs) What she saw next caught her her by surprise. It happened to be Johnny's so-called fiddle. It was standing tall, feeling erect like a palm tree. Johnny felt so hard, throbbing and stiff that you could hang a Christmas ornament on him, just for fun. Are you excited? I knew you were excited. (laughs) She pressed her head into the pillow, playing on her back. I'm just getting started, babe. Johnny smiled. I hope you get ready for the ride of your life. I am. I hope you got the keys in first. She squeaked. I'm so excited, Johnny. Turn me on. Will do, Johnny whispered to her. Using perfect patience, Johnny moved. It's all dialogue. What? It's all dialogue after this. Keep reading. Oh, okay. (laughs) Using perfect patience, Johnny managed to pin her to the bed. She crossed her legs. Johnny's hands had a hold of her lacy red panties, just to tease her a little more. He slid them off her legs and way down to her feet. If he slid them off, then how the fuck are they still on her feet? After he threw them away- (laughs) He just throws them away! (laughs) He just throws them in the trash. Kobe! (laughs) He became impressed of how well shaven she was. Dude, okay. he's coming down. He's coming down. If you if you go downward the yeah, leg, yeah. The, uh, but, like, but imagine he feels up the opposite way and all he feels is stubble and he's like, ah. okay, but like, I don't know. Are we gonna keep reading? Is that that's you? Yeah, I know. Did you have something to say? Nah, never mind. Hmm. I bet your engine's purring right now. I, this is getting worse. He smirked again. Start my machine. My a- oh, that was not machine at all. Start my engine. Operetta squeaked. Start my engine. But then she gasped. She clearly forgot something in mind. Who's Oppie? That's <laughs> Oppie. <laughs> Offie's the daughter. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay. If I would get down, can you do me? Can you do one favor for me? Offie suggested. What's that, babe? That was to Wisconsin. Well, he clo- he raised an eyebrow. I can't do anything else at this point. Can you do it to me in the bathtub? She squealed. Oh, please do it to me there. <laughs> Please do it to me there, sugar. I'll be so wet. What the? <laughs> You're in the damn <laughs> tub. Fucking mouth. <laughs> Ooh, you look in the shine. You raised an eyebrow. Don't mind if I do. I'm, I'm giving up on the accent. I can't wow. do it. Wow. With another smirk to his lips, Johnny carried Operetta bridal style to their private bathroom, and in an instant, the greaser started the hot water which ran the shower to- all together. With the tiny little shower drops that fell through the shower head, Johnny smiled down at her one more time. After you, dull face, Johnny winked at her. Operetta giggled as she took her bra off, revealing- So she was in the water with her whole ass bra on. Wait, he took her bra off already! It's back on! <laughs> she steps in with her socks on. <laughs> right now! <laughs> <laughs> revealing-
explained to Johnny her bare, large, and shapely breasts. As soon as she got in, she turned right to Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Don't be shy, she giggled, bending over to grab the show of the soap and winking at him. The blue-haired thug was getting hard and erect, looking at her bend over like that. not already erect? <sighs> Even more erect. How erect can you get? <laughs> Dick falls off. <laughs> it was obvious that he couldn't fight this. He could imagine doing such naughty things to her, even the more sexual things he couldn't imagine. With that said and done, Johnny winked at her and joined her in the shower. Operetta laughed, smiling. So what are you going to do now? <laughs> that was not correct. So <sighs> I lost it. We can't look at each other while we do this. <laughs> <laughs> She's losing it. <laughs> this is why we can't record together. We normally do it over Skype, but this this is just too much. <laughs> so what are you gonna do now? <laughs> she laughed nervously. That was horrible. Don't worry what I'm gonna do, he whispered. Just let me do all the work. Do I have to read all that? I feel like I get all the paragraphs. Seeing the sexual delight in her eyes, Johnny wrapped his arms around Operetta as he hopped into him. From there, he gently put his keys around her shaved engine and started shifting his gears back and forth. He started out slow and soft, which is how Operetta liked it at first. She wanted to feel every ounce of his ten-inch fiddle play her, play her strings around with a full melody. Sure, it hurt at first, considering how Johnny was thrust in her. But the pain was worth it for Oppie nonetheless. <laughs> However, she was growing tired of his slow, gentle thrusting very quickly, so she needed to let him step it up a bit. Come on! Don't go slow on me! M me <laughs> Operator said between moans. Go, uh, faster. Not letting her down, Johnny's thrust now increased with pleasure. He now went from slow and steady to fast and furious in a matter of seconds. Operetta's groin was getting pounded painfully, but it didn't bother her anyway because she liked it hard. She was satisfied that Johnny decided to speed things up a bit, but only if they decide not to slip. The greaser muscled her all the way up as Operetta kept saddling on for the ride. Operetta's strong hands managed to sit, clinch onto the curtains like a spider monkey <laughs> <laughs> just to make things hot and interesting between them. As the hot water and soap dripped upon their bodies, and already panting, Johnny set Operetta down for the moment, just on the floor. <laughs> From there, Operetta found, fell down to her knees gently and blushed slightly at the sight of his throbbing cock. So, Johnny, what am I to do? <laughs> she said, <laughs> innocently. I don't know, doll face. Johnny smirked down at her. My fiddle could use a little polishing, can you do that for me? He went from fucking her, pulled his dick out, and now went, suck my dick. Nasty. <laughs> Big dick energy. <laughs> I love how, like, because they're older, they're like, alright, she got bigger titties because she's older, but bitch, you have big titties. The titties and your dick stop growing at one point. You don't end up, like, 63 with your, your cock dragging on the floor because it's been growing all these years. It's not how it works. With that said, <laughs> oh, perfect, that's a perfect <laughs> transition. <laughs> With that said, Operetta nodded as she opened her mouth, inserting her mouth straight to his fiddle, therefore polishing him up. Johnny let in a slight moan as he felt her tongue scribble <laughs> and lick around his strong erect instrument. Back and forth, she bobbed her head with a laid-back melody, feeling an orgasmic ecstasy that only the daughter of the Phantom of the Opera could ever feel. She giggled lightly, trying not to gag at the taste. <laughs> it's tasty. It tastes funny, she smirked. D don't worry, Johnny panted. You'll get used to the taste, sweetheart. Tastes like gravy. <laughs> she giggled. I think I might try some again. But you bitch. Desperate for that taste again, Operetta went back to working around his erection again. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. Johnny had to admit that her tongue made his fiddle a slight ticklish. We got a critique yet, for sound effects and I'm adding yet some. Yet Operetta know how to play the right strings when it comes to getting down to business. Right around the way, Operetta also had the chance to stroke him. 
fiddling along with him even more. Johnny's moans started to increase a lot more, clenching onto the shower curtains just to contain himself. Do they not know the word clenching? <laughs> While she was still sucking him off, Johnny looked <laughs> down. He looked down on her with a sly smile. Heh, <laughs> I kinda like the way you bended over for me not too long ago. Johnny smirked. Mind if I bend you over for me again? Responding to his command, Operetta got up on her on <laughs> on her knees, turned around, and gently bent over for him. Why you do why you doing that? She laughed. It's funny. Yeah, but trust me, I'm gonna have the last laugh. He winked as he grabbed onto her hips. You ready for me again? Operetta giggled. The last laugh? Huh? Whatcha doing? Trust me, you're about to know in a second. Johnny said, whispering into her ear seductively. Oh. What's that? Trust me, you're about to know in a second. What's that? Operetta raised an eyebrow. But then she gasped when she felt something big go right inside her. Oh! That just happened to be his erection plug plunging inside her engine. Just like before, he shifted and thrusted back and forth slowly. He figured pacing himself slowly would create a lot of arousal, but would soon realize that Operetta would want him to take a step further. If only she asked him to go faster, but until then, she was going to take all the ass-grabbing, ass-smacking, and all the rod-thrusting coming from him. All this thrusting from Johnny was making her ass bulge twice the size <laughs> of his rod. Her edge. <laughs> but then they missed they missed the opportunity to say he's moving like greased lightning, but hey, that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> but then Operetta finally decided to step it up uh, step it up again. Come on, Sug. Shug. Shug. Sug. <laughs> Come on, Shug. Operetta Moon. Go Go faster. Go faster than that. With her command, Johnny began to thrust harder and faster. The hot water that was coming down provided extra lubrication for them, which allowed Johnny to penetrate her even deeper and wider. He was huffing and puffing ever before, with no chances of ever stopping. Besides, the only way Johnny would stop is if his gasket blew up inside her in a cum-filled mess. It was the kind of mess that Operetta wanted from him, considering that they had three children and were now assuming to have a fourth. <laughs> However, all that thrusting forced Johnny and Operetta to leak a bit. They're both ghosts. They were anticipating the biggest climax that they could ever endure together. His throbbing fiddle was on fire that sooner or later it was going to spew out a flame that only Operetta could feel for him. After a few thrusts, it was finally time to blow up. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, Johnny shouted slash moaned. Oh my goodness, Operetta squealed. I'm gonna do it too. And just like that, the two let out a shrieking moan as they came together at once. <laughs> His hot, silky load stuffing inside that wide, shapely engine of hers multiple times. At the same time, all of her love juices flew all around his rod like a waterfall, His blasting love. around his veins clean off. The hot sex! <laughs> the hot sex those two had inside a shower of hot steam was perhaps the most imaginable thing they ever felt. And boy, did it came true. <laughs> what no, the why? fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was- His veins blew off. <laughs> no. No, listen. Repeat. I'm gonna repeat it. Those two had it had inside a shower of hot steam was perhaps the most imaginable thing they ever felt. <laughs> and boy, did it came true. <laughs> <laughs> The water finally stopped as both Johnny and Operetta ended up steaming wet. <laughs> the mixture of hot water and sweat kept pouring down on their bodies as the two <laughs> thrill-seeker love, thrill-seeking lovebirds embraced one another. So, dual face, what'd you think? He whispered it. Oh, so, dual face, what'd you think? He whispered to her one last time. <laughs> It was so much fun, Johnny. I loved it. She yawned and smiled. Me too, Johnny chuckled. I think I might have gotten you pregnant again. Oh, goodness. Mal Why did I just lose it? <laughs> nah, we've both been losing it. 
Oh goodness. <laughs> I, I, sorry, I like have, z- I like zone out for like literally yeah, like just, three seconds. I watched her stare at her phone and her eyes just like glazed <laughs> over. <laughs> oh goodness, mall kids. <laughs> Operetta smiled. Wild wild blushing. Don't worry, he smiled. Another kid wouldn't hurt me at least. Suddenly, in the middle of their embrace, they heard their baby monitor go off on them. Oh, that's me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sounds like the baby's up, <laughs> she replied as she left the bathroom, only to run to her baby after she got dressed. I'll wait for you there, he shouted. Gotta put on some more aftershave, babe. After Operetta Why left, shave? <laughs> he didn't. After Operetta left, Johnny went to the bathroom mirror and put on his favorite aftershave, the kind of aftershave that turned on his hot southern wife. <laughs> With his teeth sparkling and a wink, he admired himself with such adoration. Don't ever change, man, Johnny said to himself. And then finally, he turned off the bathroom light and shut the door behind them, therefore ending one wild night that even both Oppie and Johnny would never forget. And luckily, they never wanted to forget it for as long as they should live. They named their child Shower. Anyone who calls her Oppie should be shot Oppie, down. Oppie, I feel like I've heard, like, Oppie in reference to something, and I don't know what it is, but it's definitely a children's show, and I don't want to think about what it. What if they had a fanfic with Laguna Blue's little sister named Kelpie? Are you going to open your mouth one more <laughs> fucking time? <laughs> I gotta admit that I had a lot of help doing this story. Sure, it was hard, but at least I got it done. Alright, uh, I guess we're ending this, so... Okay, you can real fast. find us at eroticapodcast at gmail.com, our Twitter at ESE Podcast with two T's, and you can find us on Instagram at ESE Podcast with one T. What are you going to say before we go? Because I don't want to hear it, and I want to I have the ability to crop it out if need be. <laughs> the next one's with Nathan Rot. Oh, I don't- we don't need any more Nathans in my goddamn life. Anyways, I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. Bye! Bye!